Epic's Unreal Engine has always remained at the forefront of rendering techniques, post-processing effects, and other graphical jargon for decades at this point now. And unsurprisingly, its latest iteration, Unreal Engine 5, isn't any different. From nanite to photogrammetry to lumen lighting, Unreal Engine 5 is chock full of cutting edge graphical features that will undoubtedly provide experiences never before seen in gaming. With the engine now being available to developers, many games are being developed on this technology, and today we will be looking at a few such examples. The Next Witcher Game CDPR will be shifting from its in-house Red Engine to Epic's Unreal Engine 5 for the next entry in the Witcher franchise. While details on the game remain almost non-existent for now, we do know that the developer switched engines for the vast array of tools available in Unreal Engine 5 that should help in crafting lifelike open world. The next Mass Effect game. The Mass Effect series of games are sprawling space operas with action-packed gameplay and an engaging plotline that twists and turns based on that many decisions that the player makes. After a brief hiatus following the disastrous launch of Mass Effect Andromeda, the series is once again returning with a brand new mainline entry. Much like many other games on the list, details on the gameplay and story front remain scant, although it was reported that Bioware may be ditching its in-house Frostbite engine for Epic's Unreal Engine 5. Given the many reports surrounding how difficult working with the Frostbite engine has been for EA Studios, this decision looks to be in everyone's favor. Hell is Us Developer Rogue Factor's upcoming action-adventure game Hell is Us looks to be an intriguing one, with its atmospherically evocative announcement trailer. While we are yet to see any gameplay, we do know that it will involve fighting horrendous monsters using a sword and a drone in a post-apocalyptic and calamity-ridden semi-open-world game. Suffice to say, it looks gorgeous, courtesy of Unreal Engine 5's cutting-edge lighting solutions and high-quality assets. The Day Before Described as a mix of The Last of Us and The Division, Fantastic's The Day Before is a survival MMO set against the backdrop of a post-apocalypse. Players work with and against each other to survive in these ruthless environments as they search every nook and cranny in search of useful supplies and gear. While the game started life as an Unreal Engine 4 project, it's now switched over to Unreal Engine 5 as it gears up for its recently updated March 2023 release date. Midnight Society's upcoming game Midnight Society is a AAA development studio that was recently founded by popular internet celebrity Dr. Disrespect. The studio is currently hard at work on a PvP multiplayer game that will most likely be a first-person shooter. Midnight Society's upcoming game will also unsurprisingly run on Unreal Engine 5, which is a smart move since that would free developers to focus on the actual gameplay elements instead of juggling around with graphics, physics, and whatnot. Kingdom Hearts 4 While the recently shown off footage of Kingdom Hearts 4 was apparently running on Unreal Engine 4, which by the way still looks fantastic, reports have suggested that the game will be upgraded to Epic's latest and greatest by the time it reaches the finish line. As such, fans can expect to see even more gorgeous visuals and post-processing effects, and frankly, we can't just wait to see Sora and friends jumping around picturesque environments in stunning detail. Next, Layers of Fear game. Bloober Team has established itself as one of the industry's top talents when it comes to horror games, with titles such as the likes of Blair Witch, The Medium, and of course, Layers of Fear games. The studio is returning to the latter of those franchises after three long years with its upcoming third entry in the Layer of Fear series. While the short announcement trailer doesn't give away much about the game, Fans can expect to be subjected to many psychological horrors that will most likely look even deadlier thanks to the raw powerhouse that is Unreal Engine 5. Next Grasshopper Manufacturer Game While the No More Heroes franchise has been benched for the time being, Japanese studio Grasshopper Manufacturer has been staffing up as of late to work on multiple projects in the upcoming months and years. While we do know that the studio's upcoming game, most likely helmed by Suda51 himself, will be utilizing Unreal Engine 5, we don't know what the game will actually be about. Suda had been in talks with Marvel for a possible Deadpool game, but nothing has been revealed as of yet. 
New game from Fire Sprite. In addition to the fantastic looking PSVR 2 title Horizon Call of the Mountain, the Sony acquired Fire Sprite Studio is also working on an upcoming narrative driven horror adventure game built using Unreal Engine 5. We don't know whether this will also be a VR game and whether the new game will be based on Sony owned IP or not. Suffice to say, it's still a long way away from release. And we are having some high hopes from this studio. Off the Grid Gunzilla Games recently announced Off the Grid is an interesting spin on the tried and tested Battle Royale format. Set against the cyberpunk dystopia, Off the Grid aims to combine its 150 player PvP action with PvE storyline missions that will have a direct effect on the other players present on the map. While details on how the mechanics will be carried out remain unknown for now, we do know that it is being built using Unreal Engine 5 and is targeted at a 2023 release date for current gen consoles and PC. Arc 2 The successor to the survival smash hit Arc Survival Evolved, Arc 2 will feature the same gameplay mechanics and monstrosities with some new bells and whistles alongside an update to Epic's Unreal Engine 5. We haven't really seen much of Arc 2's gameplay just yet, but with popular Hollywood actor Vin Diesel assuming the role of an important character in the game, we're having some really high hopes for its sequel. Into the Echo LTOC Studios' upcoming MMORPG is set against the backdrop of the fantastical planet of Rava. The game is being described as a time-traveling odyssey, and apart from this information, not much is known about Into the Echo at this point in time. That said, judging from the available screenshots and concept arts, Into the Echo does certainly have impressive art direction. Instinction a spiritual successor to the Dino Crisis series, Instinction sees players fighting gargantuan dinosaurs against a variety of different locales. The game is being built using Unreal Engine 5 and looks absolutely gorgeous, with realistic lighting and high resolution textures and shadow maps. Simply put, it's a sight to behold and we can't wait to dive into this fantastical world when the game releases sometime during quarter 3 of 2023. Frost Giant's Untitled RTS Game Frost Giant is a studio composed of Blizzard veterans who previously worked on classic games like StarCraft and Diablo. The studio is currently hard at work on a new RTS game that will be utilizing Epic's Unreal Engine 5 technology. Apart from that, we don't know anything about the game as of yet, but with so many talented devs working on the supposed RTS revival, we're pretty confident that Frost Giant will make a strong debut with whatever it has in the works. Untitled Gears of War Game The Coalition was one of the studios that worked on the incredible The Matrix Awakens tech demo, and the Gears of War developer has multiple projects in the works that will be built on the same tech stack as The Matrix Awakens. While no official confirmation is available as of yet, it's practically a given that one of those projects will be the next entry in the Gears of War franchise. Did you know? We at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day. Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.